welcome back to Simply Innovation. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step tutorial on how to publish sensor readings from your terminal to Kubitro IoT platform through MQTT protocol. Kubitro is the fastest way to build IoT applications with predictable pricing, developer-friendly features, and scalability you will love. You can connect your hardware to Kubitro, collect the data, and create data visualization on your own dashboard. For more information about Kubitro, you can check on its official site, kubitro.com. On this video, I'm going to use the Wio Terminal by Seed Studio. It's a SAMD 51 based microcontroller with Realtek RTLX 720DN wireless connectivity. It has a 2.4 inch TFT LCD screen, onboard accelerometer, microphone, buzzer, micro SD card slot, light sensor, and infrared emitter. It also has three programmable buttons, a five-way switch button, two groove ports, and 40 Raspberry Pi compatible GPIO pins. For more information about Wio Terminal, you can check on its official site, wiki.seedstudio.com. On this tutorial, I will show you how to publish sensor readings from Wio Terminal to Kubitro IoT platform through MQTT protocol. To code my Wio Terminal, I will use Arduino IDE. Read the link on description below to see how to getting started with your terminal on Arduino IDE. First, I will read all values of its built-in sensors, then make them as a JavaScript object notation or JSON string. Next, I'm gonna connect my Wii terminal to the internet through Wi-Fi, then publish the data to Kubitro MQTT broker. And finally, we will create charts for data visualization on my Kubitro dashboard. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, let's create a project on Kubitro. On kubitro.com homepage, click go to portal link and sign up or log in with your Kubitro account. Then create a new project and define your project's name and description. Click create project button. After that, let's create our device. Choose a connectivity method. In this case, I'll choose MQTT. Click continue and I'll enter my device information from device name, description, model, and location. Then click continue button. At this point, you will get your MQTT credentials to connect to Kubitro MQTT broker. Please take note of these values, host, port, username, password, and client ID, because we will use it on our code later. You can check these values on your device settings menu. The username and client ID are your Kubitro device ID, and the password is your Kubitro device token. Next, let's code our Wio terminal on Arduino IDE. Open the Arduino IDE, then connect the Wio terminal on bootloader mode. To do that, connect Wio terminal to computer using USB Type-C, then slide the switch twice. Set the appropriate board and port on Arduino IDE. Now, time for coding. First, I will declare my credentials on credential.h file. I will define my Wi-Fi name or SSID and Wi-Fi password. Also, the MQTT broker setting. The host is broker.qubitro.com on port 1883. The username, client ID, and topic are your Kubitro device ID, and the password is your Kubitro device token. Then go back to my Arduino sketch.ino file. Here I include all necessary libraries, including my credential.h file. To create MQTT client, I will use the official MQTT client library by Arduino. You can also use Kubitro MQTT client library. On void setup function, Let's initiate the FTLCD and Wio Terminal's built-in sensors, then connect Wio Terminal to the Wi-Fi and Kubitro MQTT broker. On void loop function, let's declare the variables that represent Wio Terminal's built-in sensors, accelerometer, light sensor, microphone, and five-way switch button, then show them on Wio's FTLCD screen. Next, I will create an event. When the button is pressed, Wio Terminal will publish the data in JSON string format to Kubitro IoT platform. Finally, let's verify our sketch and upload to Wio Terminal. Once done,
dan Wio Terminal will connect to Wi-Fi and Cubitro MQTT Broker. If connected, it will show the built-in sensor's values on its TFT LCD screen. Then it will publish the data when the 5-way switch button is pressed. Let's try to press the switch. Now let's go back to Kubitro Portal to see what happened. Go to your device section at Kubitro Portal and you will see the data streams on data tab. The data comes from Vio Terminal. Now go to Analytics tab where you can create charts for your data. To create a chart, simply just choose the variables that you want to be visualized, choose its color and chart type, line chart, area, or bar column. This analytics tab only visualizes the data stream from specific device on your specific project. If you have more than one project or one device and you want to create a centralized data visualization, you can create your own dashboard on Kubitro. To create Kubitro dashboard, go to monitoring section, create new dashboard, click add widget button, give it a name, choose the origin project, device, and its type. There are a lot of widget types you can use in Kubitro. After that, click continue, choose the variables that you want to be visualized. Repeat the same to create another widget, as simple as that. So that's the simple tutorial on how to publish sensor readings from your terminal to Kubitro IoT platform through MQTT protocol. The source code on this tutorial can be cloned from my KIST GitHub, link is on the description below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next tutorial. Bye!